Hey guys, and welcome to the video, and I hope that you are feeling awesome. Alright guys, if you watched last week's vlog, I said that Lynx has got to go to the vets, and I'll give you an update. Well, today is the day where I've got to uh, hunt around the house and uh, find Lynx. Hello. Hello. At least I know one thing. Me and Yvonne does a good thing at night now. We lock the cat flaps so the cats can't get out. So it makes it 10 times easier if you want to try and find a cat in the morning. However, one thing I do have to do is feed the other two. And then once I've done that, I'll sit down for a bit, have some breakfast myself. We have a breakfast is served. Oh, there's one there, and there's one down there. Well guys, I am now fully dressed, ready to rock and roll for work. Now if you're wondering why I'm wearing this kind of like colourful, jazzy uh, shirt here, is because Tesco's um, has recognised that, that today, the 17th um, of January, is the most depressing day of the year, or is a common thing? I'm not too sure, it's the first time I've ever heard of it, to be honest. But anyways, it's time to get links in the cat carrier, and uh, fingers crossed he gets in there quicker than he did last time. <laughs> Lynx is now in the carrier and in the car. Wow, guys, I've got to say, the sky this morning is absolutely beautiful. It's not coming up on camera enough there, guys, but it is literally a little bit tinge of red. However, this is absolutely beautiful. Guys, unfortunately, my camera doesn't do anything good in amount of justice here, but it is absolutely a beautiful moon. Like I said in last week's vlog, I'm looking at getting myself a camera that I could take good pictures at and maybe, you know, a secondary, you know, video camera would be great. Well, anyways, we are at the VETS now. Don't tell him. And uh, I got here a bit too early because usually I always leave, you know, a good amount of time to get to places. But I thought there might be a bit more traffic on the road, so I thought I'd leave it a little bit earlier. Oh, poor babies. I know, I know. I've now got to sit here with the nice cat choir for about half an hour until the um, VETS opens up. I've got to say, I've got a brilliant view though. That there, guys, what we are zooming in on there, that is a train line. To the right, it goes to Trent Valley Station, and to the left, it goes up to the Roji Town Station. See guys, I have no idea why I got a fascination with trains, I really don't. Um, I was speaking to Yvonne about it the other day and she said, well, maybe it's because you didn't grow up next to train lines, so it's more of a, you know, a rare thing to see, so you're more focused on like, wow, that's amazing, that type of feel. And I was like, maybe you're right, you were definitely right. Time to get him into the vets. Go for a walk there, Lynx. Guys, that's Lynx all signed in now. We're just waiting for the final sort of okay, and then it'll be time to go. I just had to have a pit stop at uh, Rougie Trent Valley Station, and I must admit, I'm glad I have because the sky this morning is absolutely beautiful, guys. Alrighty then, I wanna show you a, a little bit of this area here, and then I do have to get myself to work. I'm now done now, and uh, I am going to be literally legging it now to the vet. Wow, guys, it's so bright. I've had to change my glasses to put my sunglasses on and have a look at this sun. It's slowly going down there, guys. Time to get my mask on and go and get Lynx and uh, get him home. He did really well. Um, he's had the operation. Yeah. Um, he's just got to relax. There you go. He was a good boy. He's a good boy. We're going to leave him to rest in here and uh, hoping that, um, you know, a couple of hours time he should be 100% as usual self. Well, guys, I'm currently sat here playing Minecraft and watching NCIS and uh, Lynx is now really uh, chilling out on me and uh, he's had some food and he's uh, kind of like back to his old self. How are you doing there, Lynx? 
Hey. This chillage. Oh. Well, guys, I do like to show you the uh, weather and uh, why not on Minecraft. Why well, is it as soon as I get a camera out, it always, no matter if it's in Minecraft or in reality, the thunder and lightning dissipates. Oh, we've just had some more on there again. Oh, look at that. Well, I'm back in the editing suite, so to speak. And to be truthful and honest, I've enjoyed my day up to now. Um, me and Yvonne's catching up with a lot of things around the house. And at this moment in time, where hence the headphones are on, I'm doing editing. And uh, to be truthful and honest, I'm enjoying adding a bit more uh, personality, I suppose, you know, to it. And uh, it is actually uh, fun to play around a little bit more with the editor. Anyways, um, Lynx is doing really, really well. He's eating um, his normal amount of food he's been doing zoomies around the house um he has gone outside and he's came back in i think he's just came back through the cat flap which is what that noise was so yeah basically he's on the men's there guys speaking of busy guys i set my phone upstairs in the front of the house and i'm looking forward to seeing what type of video comes from that but anyways i'm gonna crack on with this editing and then shortly guys me and yvonne's gonna go on to minecraft and spend like literally maybe three four hours on it all right guys we got Yvonne here and we're about to get on with doing our Minecraft however guys I'm so curious to see what this time-lapse video is like okay what's going on with this then I'm gonna leave that carrying on like that and uh, fingers crossed that turns out to be an awesome video but anyway let's get, let's some, get some Minecraft, Minecraft on. on right guys I am so excited for this day first off I can't wait to get my shift done because secondly I'm going out on an adventure after work. Now I've got all my stuff packed up. My normal backpack there I'm taking. I've got my coat there. And in this bag here, I've got all my actual uh, change of clothes there. Because the only way I'm going to be able to do this, guys, is take my clothes with me so I can get changed into it when I'm at work. Well, anyways, time for coffee. Well guys, I'm now fully dressed, I'm ready to rock and roll and get out of here. And also, it's Yvonne's first shift back after our holiday, so uh, she told me last night she's uh, looking forward to it, but then not looking forward to it. Look who we have here, guys. Hello. Yvonne's <laughs> off to work now, and I have fully changed here, and I can't wait to go on my adventure. So uh, let's get on this road, eh? This area is called Brockton. It's nice when you come to an area that you haven't been before because you're like, I've not seen that before. What's this? What's that? Oh, doggy doggy. Chasing the birdies. Oh, we've two doggies. Three doggies. Hiya. Hello. Wow, this feels like you've gone into some sort of like a magical world. Well guys, I've definitely enjoyed my time here today and I gotta admit, I am definitely coming back here in the future. Now, I looked on the map and I noticed there was a brook nearby this area. All right, let's have a little go over here. Be really careful where I'm standing. Ooh. Wow. I've just discovered a nice little seating area here. What a spot this is. Fantastic. It is time for me to head back to the car now because I do have to get to back to Roosley. Slight change of plan, guys. I just looked at the time and I thought I'm going to be way too early to pick up Yvonne from work. I just found this area and I was like, oh my God. So I just parked the car up here and I got out of the car and I had a little look and I thought, we've got sheep, guys. Wow. And the best part is, the train line is just there, so how ironic would it be if I uh, capture a train whilst I'm here? And 
now here to pick up Yvonne and again I am too early so I've decided to look around F&F to see if there's anything decent for going out on adventures. I don't know if that's going to be too thick for an adventure or something smart, I'm not too sure really. However guys, I'm going to try and see if I could be sneaky here and get Yvonne on camera. Just about to see the back of her head. <laughs> It's really, really difficult because I don't want to get anyone else on the camera. Wow, guys, what can I say? Just look at that. It looks like two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. Look who we've got. Hello. Finally got her out of work, guys. Honestly, I said, Ra, I'll meet you in the car. She goes, well, could you meet me in the store? We've got to do a little bit of looking around. I'm like, do you not want to go home? <laughs> guys, on a positive note, I've had a freaking good day and I must admit I am looking forward to getting home and then showing Yvonne not only the videos I've captured also the pictures I've captured as well so that's gonna be absolutely awesome just you wait the moon this morning is absolutely so bright however guys I have now got to scrape my car and I hate doing this in the morning it just takes too long I'm so tired after yesterday, guys. I overslept, and so I've been rushing around like a total idiot this morning. I must admit, guys, with the amount of traffic that's on the road in the morning, it's absolutely amazing. Now, I used to remember when I used to start at the uh, petrol station in Tesco's, right? That, um, when I was driving to work, you barely even came in contact with one car. There we go, we're now back at work. I always feel like I live here. Now, one of my colleagues once said to me, John, do you live here? And I'm like, yeah, did you not know there was a secret basement where there's bunk beds, TVs, game consoles and everything? At least you wouldn't have to worry about a car. You wouldn't have to worry about, you know, taxis, buses, trains. Speaking of worrying, Lynx has to go back to the vets today for a checkup. Now, fingers crossed, guys, his um, tooth, um, sorry, his gums and everything is healed nicely. Now, he has had no issue with eating since the surgery. Definitely had no issue you running around doing zoomies so it sounds like um you know he's definitely on the mend there but anyway let's get to work wow guys i've got to confess the sky this morning was absolutely beautiful i mean we had a nice sunrise there over here we had the moons going down in that area there and it was lovely red sky going across here it's cleared up now but oh it was just like a proper winter's like morning but i wish i really wish that I was able to record more of this sky that I was able to see this morning, but unfortunately, I'm not really allowed to have my phone out of work. Wow, I have no clue what bird that is, guys. But literally, I just got home and all you can hear is that noise. Of rah, 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 rah. And I thought, what the heck is that? Well, Lynx is now in the cat carrier and we were very creative how we did it. What happened was I said to Yvonne, I said, make sure the cat flap is locked. So that means that Lynx will definitely stay in. Because I had this huge fear that I'll have to be finding him looking around the streets and I just did not want that, honestly, I didn't. So Yvonne here was literally playing the crazy cat lady, oh, yeah. <laughs> making sure that they stayed in the house. Lynx is not far off uh, stop meowing. He's been literally whining all the way throughout the journey to get to here. I think it's something to do maybe when the car is moving, he doesn't like that motion. I just got to give him a call to let them know that we are here and then see how things go. Oh, Lynx. I'm sorry, buddy. We won't be here that long. So, uh, Lynx has been seen and good news. He is healing up perfectly. And uh, the best part of it now is she doesn't need to see him again. So we're gonna get this little one home. And I'm gonna be honest, a little bit of thing happened in there that made my heart so poor. Getting him out of the uh, cat carrier, he um, literally went all rigid on me. And it was like lifting uh, like a dead weight. He, he was like refusing to move and everything. And I think it's kind of scared him a little bit going to the vets. We're gonna get him home now and sit down and chill. And I am so ready for relaxing, honestly. <sighs> Wow, what 
is making all of this noise. Wow, guys, I have no clue what that noise is. But it's literally just got really, really loud and you can't see it because of the darn clouds are in the way. Oh, so frustrating. I have had the most craziest week of all. I wish that I was able to record a bit more of my week, but I've had a bit of a, a mental problem go on that I'm, I will explain more in next week's vlog. But anyway, guys, unfortunately, this is where I'm going to have to love and leave you for this week's vlog. So I want to say a huge thank you to every single one of you for coming by. It means the world to me and also to Yvonne too. And always, always do your best to stay positive and screw this negative because that's all you can do. All right, see you on the next one. Bye, Ziba.